Hello and welcome back once again to Let's Play Macquarie 2. Right off the bat we've got a couple of kit foxes to take care of here. Now you can shoot them directly but I think it'd be a lot more fun to shoot this bridge out from underneath them. So much faster that way. There's a couple of uh, wolf heavy tanks here as well. Now these are equipped with uh, auto cannons and LRMs, and they can be surprisingly dangerous if you're not prepared for them. The auto cannons, especially, can be pretty nasty. I think I've pointed out that uh, auto cannons in Macquarie 2 are the fastest way of doing damage, so you don't have to be exposed to auto cannon fire for very long from anything, be it a vehicle or an enemy back, to uh, really have your day ruined really quickly. There goes the second kit box. This might be one of my uh, favorite missions, just for the opportunity to do that. It's a lot of fun. Honestly, I I think they must have specially scripted that because I'm pretty sure falling from that height wouldn't normally destroy a mech that easily. Today I'm piloting a 60 ton Mad Dog. Mad Dog, uh, I don't tend to use it very much. I find it to be unusually fragile which I think may have something to do with how its hitbox works. But I just seem to take a lot more damage than I expect whenever I use one. Here's our primary objective, the core heatsink array. And it looks like we've got a couple of wolf mechs standing guard. I'm going to try and draw them away. And as always, if possible, I only want to engage one of them at once. My large pulse lasers do have a pretty good range, and the firing radical is telling me I'm in range, but I can't seem to hit this guy. I'm going to have to get a little bit closer. Stormcrow does have large lasers of his own, so I won't be completely safe from attack. Here he comes. And unfortunately, the Hellbringer behind him is uh, also on my case. Luckily, I've managed to get the Stormcrow in between him and me, so he can't hit me with his PVCs, and indeed he hit him with his Stormcrow friend there, which is an added bonus, really. Notice my SRMs have the PPC firing sound. I always wondered if that was intentional or not, because it does seem a little strange. Well, looks like the sun's going down. The light amplification is supposed to make it easier to see when uh, the ambient light is insufficient, but since it doesn't really increase the contrast, it doesn't really do anything more than just make everything green. I don't really use it very much because of that. Mm, one thing you have to be careful about using SRMs is uh, using them point blank range. Because they do have splash damage, you can very easily damage yourself. I just blew through my own rear armor there. I'm hitting this Hellbringer at point blank range. So as long as you're aware of uh, the splash damage issue, SRMs are 
very nice weapons for the most part. They're very light, and uh, they don't take up a whole lot of space either. Each missile does uh, 2 damage, so SRM-6 in this case does 12 damage each, which is pretty considerable. You also don't have to bring a whole lot of ammunition. I've only brought one ton for each of my launches, and that's really, that's usually more than enough. Contrast this to the auto cannon, say, which you have to bring four or five tons at least of ammunition. It makes them uh, pretty lightweight uh, compared to most of the ballistic and missile weapons in MechWarrior 2. Fortunately, this Nova seems to have been having a lot of trouble passing towards me. It's just been stuck on the other side of this terrain while I was finding the other two mechs. I've got to say, the pathfinding for the AI in MechWarrior 2 really uh, doesn't impress very much. But that's usually helpful. Alright, with the last of the Wolf Max defending the Heatsink Array Dispatch, we've got a clear run to take this thing out. Now because we do need to get out of here after we've destroyed it, I don't want to get too close. Just close enough that I can hit it. There it goes. Objective: Destroy core heat sink array. Successful. Critical meltdown imminent. Proceed to dust off zone for extraction. Shutdown sequence overridden. Okay, we really need to skedaddle now. You don't want to be anything near that thing when it goes off. going on. It's like something shooting at our dropship. A few more wolf tanks have appeared. Now, as we all know, dropships have huge amounts of uh, health, so I'm not too worried about our own dropship being destroyed. And it also looks like they're shooting each other. I'll take whatever help I can get, even if it's friendly fire from the wolf forces. I feel a lot safer all of a sudden. Now there is a target of opportunity in this mission, and it's a pretty easy one to work out. It's just this bridge that we saw at the beginning. I do notice that it looks too low to actually serve as a useful bridge. The roadway on top just leads straight into the side of the train. I just hit myself with my own SRMs there. Have to be a little bit careful about that. There it goes. Yep, we're completely whited out. This is actually kind of annoying if you're getting shot at at the time the explosion goes off because you can't see anything and it's very difficult to hit anything but uh, the AI doesn't have any problem hitting you in return. Luckily this tank doesn't seem to be very interested. Secondary objective. Destroy all enemy mech units. Successful. 
We've just got a couple of these bridge spans left to take out, and then I think we're all done. At least I can see again now. That's what I was waiting for. Well, now that we've taken out Core Heat Single Ray and uh, managed to avoid being destroyed in the ensuing explosion, taken, we've taken out every single wolf uh, vehicle and mech we've encountered, and I've also destroyed the target of opportunity. I think I've done pretty well today. With that, the mission's over, and I hope you'll join me all next time.